Hey everybody, this is Matt Cutts. It's Monday, August 7th, and uh, going to be the first day of Search Engine Strategies. I've been picking SEO's brains since Saturday, so uh, already starting to lose my voice a little bit. But uh, I wanted to alert you to some stuff that people might have missed that just happened this past Friday. I think it might have gotten missed a little bit because it, it happened about 9 o'clock on a Friday and partly because like a large fraction of the A-list, B-list, and C-list bloggers about search are all sort of on their way or arriving in Search Engine Strategy San Jose. So Google's actually done quite a bit more lately to revamp the amount of information we provide to general users and to webmasters. So one thing is google.com slash support has been beefed up a whole lot. So all the different support stuff, there's a lot more answers with a lot more fresh information. It's pretty cool. If you go to google.com slash support, that's sort of the one-stop shop for all sorts of general user support needs. However, if you found your way to this video, you're probably not just a regular user. You're probably also a webmaster. And if you're a webmaster, there's a tool you need to know about, which used to be called Sitemaps until Friday. It all started out sometime last year when this tool called Sitemaps let people submit all the URLs that were on their sites. They could even say things like when they had last changed, which URLs were more important, all sorts of stuff. And a lot of people made tools to create those Sitemaps files and that was fantastic. The thing that happened after that is the Sitemaps team decided to build a more general console, something that could help webmasters with all sorts of other problems. And so that's been called Sitemaps, but uh, I know Adam Lasnik came back from Search Engine Strategies London and he said when he talked about Sitemaps, everybody thought, oh, XML files or stuff like that. So just this last week, Sitemaps uh, changed their name, so there's now an official area called Google Webmaster Central. And if you go to that, it's just google.com slash webmaster, or webmasters, so I'll make sure they both work. Um, you'll get a set of lots of different tools. There's now an official Google Webmaster blog, which is going to be mostly maintained by Vanessa Fox. I'm sure I'll stop by from time to time to weigh in on various things. Uh, but that used to be the Sitemaps blog, and the scope of it is broadening to now include anything related to webmasters, which I think is fantastic. The other thing is, the Sitemaps tool has now become the Google Webmaster tools, and it's got all sorts of stuff. It's not just where you can tell people, here's all the URLs that I've got. Google, come please crawl those URLs. Just off the top of my head, it's got a robots.txt checker. It's got things to show you what errors in URLs it's seen. So earlier today, in fact, I found where I had made a link without the HTTP. And that doesn't work so well in WordPress. So I'd gotten some 404 errors whenever Google tried to crawl. So I was actually able to fix a broken link by looking at that table. Uh, in some cases, we can tell you whether you have spam penalties or not. So if you have hidden text or something like that, we can actually show you that you have a penalty and actually give you a re-inclusion request, which we can then give a little more weight to because we know it's you, you verified and proved that you really own that site. They also just did a new release on Friday along with changing the name and they introduced a lot of different uh, pretty neat little stuff. Things like show me all the query words that, that show up in each subdirectory or show me the crawl errors in each subdirectory, things like that. However, the biggest thing that I'm really happy about is something called preferred domain. Uh, sometimes we see whenever people have their links uh, you know, not as uniform. Maybe they don't have all their, their ducks in a row. Uh, and so some of their links point to www.maccuts.com and some of their links point to just maccuts.com. So without the www or with the www. And if some people from outside of you, like the ODP or whatever links to one and other people link to the other, uh, Google tries to disambiguate that. It tries to figure out, oh, www and non www are actually the same page and they're always going to be the same site. But we can't always get that 100% correct. So this new feature in Sitemaps, the Google Webmaster Console or Google Webmaster Tools, whatever you want to call it, now lets you say, okay, I verify I own this domain, and I verify I own it with the www as well. Now, treat those the same. Now bear in mind it's a preference, 
So first thing is it might take several weeks for it to go into effect. Uh, the next thing is it's a preference, so we don't 100% guarantee that if you say I want dub dub dub, we'll always go that way. But in the normal typical situation, within a few weeks, you should see your URLs change from split between dub 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 or non dub 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 if you have this issue to all being on whichever one you prefer. Uh, I volunteered my domain to be used as a guinea pig by the crawl guys, so they were whipping it back and forth from dub 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 to non dub dub dub, and things look like they're working pretty well. Uh, so props to Deo UK who asked for this feature and a bunch of other people who asked for this feature. I'm glad we're getting around to it. Uh, I'm sure we'll continue to keep looking for ways that, that we can take requests from webmasters and try to turn that into useful information that they can get. So if you haven't taken a fresh look at the Google Webmaster Tools, I would highly recommend that you do that. It's worth your time. It can find all kinds of errors. You can test out robust.txt. You can sometimes see penalties. There's words that you rank for, words that you rank for and you get clicked on a lot. And most importantly, there's this dub 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 and non dub dub dub. So if you've been affected by that, you can now tell Google which way you want it to be. Uh, the Sitemaps team has been doing a great job. I'm sure I'll continue to call them Sitemaps for a while, uh, not being able to get used to the name change, but I'll, I'll get used to it eventually. And I hope that you give it a try, because I think it can be useful for anybody who's got a site.